We are now going to define polynomials. And to start with, we're going to start with terms. A term is a number or a variable or a number and a variable that may or may not have a power on the variable, such as minus w cubed. These are things that get added together. And as we're looking at terms, a term is a polynomial if it can be written as a variable to the k. We call a the coefficient, and we call k the power or degree. Now, the coefficient is allowed to be any real number. But the degree or the power has to be a whole number, meaning it has to be 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Can't be something that has to be written as a fraction, can't have a decimal point in it. Needs to be just that whole number. So all of these are examples of single term polynomials, otherwise called monomials. This one has a coefficient of 4 and a degree of 0. The 4 does. The x has a coefficient of 1. If you don't see a number in front of a variable, it's a 1. And has a power of 1 for the same reason. 6r has a coefficient of 6 and a degree or power of 1. Minus w cubed has a coefficient of minus 1 and a power of 3. Now, some polynomials have more than one term. And so something like 3x minus 5, or 4x squared minus 10x minus 16, or even a squared b plus 3ab squared minus 7ab plus 5. These are all polynomials because their terms are all monomials. Now notice this one has more than one variable and that's totally fine so long as the power on it on all variables is a whole number. And if you don't see a power you assume it's a one and this of course has a degree of zero. The degree of a polynomial is the highest degree of the monomial. So this is a degree 1 and a degree 0, so the whole thing is degree 1. This is a 2, a 1, and a 0, so this is a degree 2. a squared b to the first is degree 3, a b squared is degree 3, 2, and 0, and so this is a degree 3 polynomial. Now, some examples of expressions that aren't polynomials. 2x over x minus 2 is not a polynomial because it has a variable in the denominator, which if I were to rewrite that, would have a negative exponent. And a negative number is not a whole number, so this one's not. Likewise, if I had 3x to the 3 fourths plus 5, notice that degree is a fraction, so this is not a polynomial because of the fraction. So if you have variables in the denominator or something that's not a whole number, it's not a polynomial. Finally, we want to look at whether something is a monomial, a binomial, a trinomial, or the more generic polynomial. Now keep in mind, monomials, binomials, and trinomials are polynomials, but we, in this case, refer to anything by the more specific term if possible. A monomial has one term, a binomial has two terms, a trinomial has three, and if not specified otherwise, a polynomial has four or more. 
So let's look at x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 4. We want to know the degree of the whole polynomial and we want to know its type. Is it a binomial, a monomial, a trinomial, or just a polynomial? So we look at the powers. We have degree 4, degree 2, degree 0. And again, we know it's a 0 because there's no variable hiding here. If you don't see a variable, it's degree 0. So it's degree 4 because that's the highest. And it's a trinomial because there are 1, 2, 3 terms. If we have 1 fifth y cubed minus y, we have to make sure this is a polynomial because this y cubed is not on bottom. It's only the variable on bottom we care about. A number is welcome to be there. So this is degree 3 and degree 1. The highest of those is 3. And since there's two terms, this is a binomial. Our last one that we're going to look at minus 2.7m to the fourth, m to the twelfth, excuse me, getting a little ahead of myself there, minus 4.5m to the tenth, n to the fourth, plus 9.1m to the eighth, n to the sixth, plus mn to the ninth. Well, we've got multiple variables, so we look at both of them combined for each term. This is a degree 12. 10 m's and 4 n's makes this degree 14. 8 m's and 6 n's makes this degree 14. And m to the first and a 9 n's makes that degree 10. The highest of those is 14. And since we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, this is simply a polynomial. So that's our introduction to polynomials.